Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be comparing the Benefit Hydrating Lip Balms with the Tony Molly Petite Money Gloss Bars. I recently reviewed the Benefit Hydrating Lip Balms and I really really liked them, so much so that I actually considered buying them full price, but they are really 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 expensive for a lip balm. So I decided to find some dupes for them, so if you are like me and you like the product but can't really afford it, here are some good dupes that you can afford. So the benefit product description says, these hydrating lip balms condition and hydrate with mango butter and sodium hyaluronate. This kiss of sheer color gives you the juiciest lips. The Tony Molly product description says, crayon type gloss bar, clear type that keeps lips moist and smooth throughout the day. Easy and cute type gloss bar, shaped as a cute rabbit, nine different fruit scents and smooth texture, convenient to carry. Lipstick type lip gloss, texture between a lipstick and a lip gloss, protects and softens lips with berry complex and vitamin E. The Benefit Balms come in cute metallic packaging. I have the mini sizes, but the full sizes look the same, but bigger. The Tony Molly Gloss Bars come in ultra cute bunny shaped packaging. Posey Tint and Neon Red are fairly close in colour, though Neon Red is a little bit warmer in tone. On the lips, it's very hard to tell the difference between the two colours. Obviously, since they are tinted balms, quite a lot of my natural lip colour comes through, so even if there is a slight difference in colour between the two, they look almost exactly the same when they're being worn. This makes them very, very easy to dupe. Lolly Balm and Juicy Strawberry are two colours that I wouldn't expect to look the same. I had assumed that the Juicy Grape colour would be a better dupe. However, since Juicy Strawberry is also a very cool toned pink, it actually looks a lot more like Lolly Balm than the Grape Shade does. Benny Balm and Juicy Cherry are great dupes, though Benny Balm is a lot more pigmented. The pigmentation of Benny Balm is not a plus for me. Since these are balms, I find that the pigmentation of Benny Balm makes it much more obvious when it wears off. I also find that the Benefit Balms slide around my lips much more than the Tony Molly Bars do. The Tony Molly Bars are much waxier in texture and that keeps them on my lips. Cha Cha Balm and Neon Orange are the closest dupes. These look exactly the same on my arm and exactly the same on my lips. So let's talk about the all important prices. The Benefit lip balms are 34 New Zealand dollars and you get 3 grams. That makes them a total of $11.33 per gram. The Tony Molly bars are $4.62 for 2 grams, so they are slightly smaller. This makes them $2.31 per gram. So for the Benefit Balms, they have cute and functional packaging. They are easy to apply and have a short lasting power because they are lip balms. They moisturize my lips well and they are quite expensive for a tinted lip balm. The Tony Molly Balms have super cute functional packaging. They are easy to apply, but again have a short lasting power because they are tinted lip balms. They are moisturizing for my lips and they are very inexpensive. To put it into perspective, you would buy one Benefit Balm for 34 New Zealand dollars, and if you wanted to get all nine shades of the Tony Molly Bars, you would spend 41 New Zealand dollars and 58 cents. <laughs> of course, aside from the price, these products are very, very similar. I actually personally prefer the formula of the Tony Money Gloss Bars, not even thinking about the price or anything else. I think the formula itself works better for my lips because it is slightly waxier and I am one of those people that just constantly like 
rubs their lips together. This means that because the Benefit Balms are a lot softer, smoother, they tend to sort of migrate around my lips a lot more because they don't really stick to my lips. This is really obvious when I use Benny Balm because of the pigmentation. You can see where the tint is migrating and it's going out towards the outer sides of my lips and it's just not a flattering look and I just don't get that problem with the Tony Molly Gloss Bars. Plus, they have little rabbits on them. They are very cute. Color wise, the only one that I like better would be Posy Balm because it's just, I don't know what it is. I have the same problem with Posy Tint as well. It's a really unique type of pink. To be honest, you don't see it that much when you're looking at both of them compared side to side. They really do look the same. I just, I really like Posy Balm. <laughs> if I had to buy one, because I could really only afford one, it would be Posy Balm. However, for the other colours, I find that their dupes in the Tony Molly range are more than good enough for me. I really can't see a difference in them and I prefer the formula of the Tony Molly as well as the price of the Tony Molly, as well as the packaging. <laughs> So if you are a fan of Benefit in general, these balms are really lovely. I enjoy the quality of them, the texture, the packaging, the application, everything is wonderful. I just find the price hard to swallow. That is personally my problem. If you do not care, then buy these because they are really beautiful products. However, if you are more used to K Beauty prices, the price of Benefit is going to be quite high for you. So if you want to get the same effect and the same colours, I would absolutely recommend getting the Tony Molly Petite Bunny Gloss Bars. I think they are beautiful, they are super cute, and they work really, really well on the lips, and the colours are almost exactly the same. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I will see you next time.